Temerians. Cowards all. Fled across the Pontar, said I defended their fatherland. Fortune favor you. It's a washout. Nice tune. Damn sad, though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? Looking for the Puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin! Leave us be! Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Another thug? Flattered, thanks. Forgive us. You look threatening, and we've had our share of trouble lately. Nisa's on edge these days. We all are. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemelfart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs, and the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threatened me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments. Lately they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end, no clue what to do. They harm any of you? No, not yet. But it's merely a question of time. Nisa overheard talking about setting fire to something. All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course! But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. I'm not a great talker anyway. You seek someone, stranger? Gierda. Yes, master. Mood hasn't improved much, has it? No reason it should have. Never mind. So long. Ah! I dare you to say it again! I... I didn't say nothing! Not enough, he's a heretic. He's also a liar! What'll we do with him? We'll bruise his kidneys. Unless he's got something in that pouch. So you're the ones. Oh, I fat so. Look what we got here. Is it just me or you got cat eyes? Right, he does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire, cat shit? Leave the puffins alone. Worms that insulted Iraq Emilfart called him an allmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, to play a different tune then, every time they fought. <laughs> Leave the puffins alone. Aye, we will. Alone. What the hell? Black magic! He's a fucking witch! Get him! Russell time! Leave him! All right, enough! Don't be enough! Boys, leg it! Ah, what a sight! You really showed them! One, two, over the back, then pow, right in the noggin! I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath the hood. Thank you very much. Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something all right. I don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. 
We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper. Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. <coughs> ah! Works. Yes. La, 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 li, ho, ho, Hello, ho. Sourpuss. Ugly <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Rain like this would fetch a fortune. Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? A Witcher versus the Beast of Metana. Killer Instinct versus Primal Rage. You guys really from Nilfgaard? We're from plowing Metana, damn it! Oh, Nilfgaard. Raised by wild hands on the windswept plains of Magdara. Brothers forged in bloodshed. Veterans of Metina's infamous filthy arenas. Who dares face the wild men of the south? Who will look the beasts in the eye? I'd like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. Actually want you to usher, keep the peace, make sure no one's ass gets kicked, on stage or off. Got the wrong men. Ass kicking's what we do. How about a wager? If I beat Hal, you'll come work for me, gratis. 
See, Al's no fan of mummies. Failed romance. Spare you the details. Teal needs something special to convince him. Here's an idea. Take us both on. Same time. Fire the century. A witcher against the two-headed dragon of Metin. What if I lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double. Fine. Fight you both. Cough up the coin first. Lose, and it stays with us. <laughs> double your wages, as promised. But if I win, I get it back. Now, finish him! We've got something special lined up! You get such a lovely thrash in, eh, Al? Man's speechless, but I can see it on his mug. Bugger likes you. Time we got some rest. We'll guard whatever you want. For free, eh, Al? Your coin? Have it back. And don't fret. We'll get there before any of the uh, dancing starts.
the guards. You will not find any Many thanks to you. The eternal in a fire, not on stage. And you belong in a sty, swine. Go home. Your goat's ass misses you. See how Bulk does what he can, but it's technique what matters most. See how Bulk does what he can. Ladies, gentlemen, another drifter into Tamaria. Knowing but the vernacular, drivers of all things exciting, spectacular. Irina and the Foxen invite you to behold a pageant, a play. You will be all bold. Come at sundown. Come to laugh. Come to cry. Tears galore. You will spare no applause. Bravo! You will roar. <laughs> A comedy of the highest art. You'll laugh so hard, you'll like to fart. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, rabble, knowing but the vernacular. Another drifter Dreamers into Tamaria. of all Tamaria. things exciting, spectacular. Irina and the Foxen invite you to be home. A pageant, a play, you will be overbold. Come at sundown, come to laugh, come to cry, tears galore. You'll spare no applause, bravo, you will roar. Sick, sick of it all. A comedy of the highest art. You'll laugh so hard, you'll like to fart. Hello, Sourpuss. Another drifter in Tamaria. gentlemen. Knowing but the vernacular. Ravers of all things exciting spectacular. Door on the left. What do you want from me? Mm, um, oh, you waste still of breath. Here. Nowadays, one note, one word's enough to send you to the stake. There you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. These performances bring in much coin? Well, it varies. On good days, the square is barely capable of accommodating everyone. Other times, we're lucky to earn a handful of coppers. Of course we shall pay you a fee as well. You're a member of the ensemble now. <laughs> Thanks. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bollier, outstanding actor, and audiences love him. But sadly, I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Let's go with Abelard. I'll take a reliable artisan over an unpredictable artist any day. Rightly so. The project is risky enough without our casting Maxim. So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, 
I do have more stage experience. Let's have Priscilla do it. No offense, but uh, most people... Assign greater importance to appearance than to talent. I understand. I shall let her know. I'm certain she'll be wonderful. Who's playing the Witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him. But I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. I'm no actor. Might not have noticed, but I'm a little low on emotional expression. But that's perfect. After all, you're to play the Witcher, not the Princess. Besides, you must appear on stage. Dudu must see you. It's the crux of this entire endeavor. You're right. Just never thought I'd have to do something like this. You'll be fine, dear. You need only strut on stage, great sword in hand, furl your brow, make some threatening faces, then deliver a few lines in a gravelly voice. Think you can manage? All right. Got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? Working on it. Still need to learn my lines. It's a lot to memorize. One who knows an entire bestry by heart and can blend dozens of alchemical brews can surely memorize a few lines of rhymed verse. Good luck. 